you know, folks, just wanted to make a video on the green spot coral goby, um, also known as the green spot clown goby, I'm pretty sure. I uh, always call it the coral goby. Um, and I wanted to share some of my thoughts on whether or not they are reef safe or reef compatible. So there's not a whole lot of information getting around on the internet, or even YouTube, about these little guys. And the information you do find, you have to dig pretty deep for it. So the first thing to note about whether they're going to be reef safe or not is they actually have a symbiotic relationship with um, Acropora, which is a piece of information which is hard to find. Now, what you're about to see here... Oh, no, you just get scared away. No, oh, no, you might do it. What you're about to see here is why I would be leaning on the fence about whether or not they are reef safe. So as I said before, they have a symbiotic relationship with um, Acropora, uh, the SPS. But what has never been said, and what is being shown here, is that he seems to have changed that um, symbiotic relationship from the Acropora onto my Akens here. Now, what they do when they live on the acre or with the, um, the acroporas is, you bet see them do it here, they nibble on them. So that's a part of their little little relationship is they get to feed off of the acropora, just feeding on the mucus, the polyps and so on and so forth. They make nests on it. Um, and in return, they give the um, acropora a little bit of a sort of attack dog kind of guardian type of thing. So if there's a piece of algae, a piece of seaweed, something like that invasive um, pest or whatever, they can actually secrete a chemical in the water which will um, sort of be a call to action, I suppose, for the um, little coral gobies and they'll come along and sort of remove all the, um, the pests or whatever's around the acropora. But as you can see here, and he did actually have that relationship with these um, the acropores here, and he sometimes will jump inside of them and live inside, especially that big um, acropora right there. But from all the information I've read, from all the stuff that I've looked on about these guys, nothing has ever been said about them attacking LPS. Um, and I wouldn't really go as far as to say he's attacking it. I mean, as you saw then, he gives them a tiny little nip, and it's barely even enough to attract the polyps. Sometimes it does attract the polyps, but, um, you know, for the most part, it's just basically an annoyance. Um, and he can be fairly unrelenting at this. As you can see, that he, if once he's out, he's just looking to sort of get a bit of that mucus or get a bit of that polyp. And I have seen him actually take a little chunk, a tiny chunk out of a polyp. You see that, like, he, he took a pretty hard nip on it. And if you look inside of his mouth, he's actually got a set of teeth in it. So, it's not going to be doing the LPS, uh, LPS any good long term. However, um, it's not doing major damage, right? And I think this is going to be one of those cases where no two fish are going to be the same. Because, as I said before, they're supposed to, they do have a symbiotic relationship with Acropora. Um, not said about anything else, and yet the one I have in here absolutely loves these, um, these little acans here. The other um, coral goby I have is inside of my two foot aquarium and he doesn't bother the corals at all. He might sit on them, he might sit on my gonies, he might sit underneath the, um, the uh, hammers I have in there, but he will not do this type of thing, this type of behavior. And as far as I'm aware, this type of behavior is pretty rare. Um, so, yeah, on that, so going back to whether they're, not going to be, or whether they're going to be reef safe or not, I would say yes and no. I know it's a silly answer, um, but the main reason for it is that if they're living in the Acropora and they're doing the sort of relationship they're supposed to be doing, it's not really affecting the corals that much, especially if you have big colonies like what I'm trying to grow at the moment. Um, if you have a massive colony, him nibbling on a polyp here and there isn't going to affect it even in the slightest. Um, but when it comes to LPS, that's where I'm a little bit sketchy. I'm a bit skeptical on that. Because these guys are slow growing, 
they have big fleshy polyps on them and they'll be very susceptible to infection. As you can see, this Aiken here has already lost a few polyps since I've had it um, a while ago. But part of me now wonders if maybe it was because that um, coral goby was harassing it long before I even realised and possibly made that happen. So, yeah, they're, um, I mean, I'm not, even if I wanted to, I'd never be able to get this, <laughs> this fish out of this aquarium. It would be a nightmare. Um, it'll never happen. I'll have to pretty much dismantle this entire aquarium or come up with some type of trapping mechanism that would be able to catch them, which I'm really not bothered um, doing. So if I could, I'd probably take them out of this aquarium. Um, but I can't say so <laughs> I'm going to have to leave them in here. So I'd say this fish here is probably not reef really safe. However, the one that's in my two foot aquarium, which I'll show you right now, once in my two foot aquarium is reef safe. He's got a much different behavior set. He's very peaceful. You see all the LPS in here is super duper fine. You know, all he does is just sit on his little rock there. So, it's a case of no two fish are the same. Um, so yeah, I would say that they are they are and they aren't. If you see them, if you have the, if you see them attacking your your, um, your acroporas and it's you know a tiny little frag like this one here, and he's sort of doing what he's doing to the LPS there. He's like taking sort of the nips out of it, and the polyps are constantly retracted. That's when I'd probably start thinking about taking them out. That's when I consider it not to be reef safe. If you see them going after your LPS here you know, yay cans or anything else, and he's attacking them, I'd consider it not to be reef safe. Um, but that wouldn't stop me from buying one and putting it into my aquarium here, because they do have a bit of personality. They are a cute little fish. Um, and yeah, 